Hi everyone and welcome to another car here on the Car Reviews podcast with CollectorCarCanada.ca. Another beauty today, here is a 1974 Porsche 911 Targa with a five-speed manual transmission. As you can see, we've got the Targa roof off. So we'll do a start up here, take a listen to the engine and the exhaust, and then we'll get right into it. So here we go with an engine start. So we got that to start on the second try. I think uh, we can oh, we can attribute the first try to my lack of familiar, familiarity with this particular car. So here we are, we got the engine running. You, you heard it start. Now we'll uh, release the engine cover and take a look under there. Okay, so we have the engine idling and running. I've already released the engine cover. So let's take a peek and a listen. of the rear engine here with the 911. If you don't have far to go, to listen to the exhaust. So here's the sound, here's the sound of the exhaust when the engine dialing. And for the rest of the video, we're going to move inside. Uh, it's a bit blustery out here and the skies are threatening. So we're gonna cut for now and we'll see you from the inside. All right, we've shifted the 1974 Porsche 911 Targa five-speed manual inside, and uh, we're in the, the owner's workshop. And as you'll read in our detailed listing for lot 222, the cars underwent a lot of uh, work in while under the custodianship of the current owner. He's had it 14 years, and he bought it after 10 years of storage by the previous owner. So he really woke the car up. It's had an engine and transmission rebuild under his care. He's driven it approximately 20,000 kilometers since those were done 12 years ago. So we do have a, a good itemized list of all the work that was done to it at that time. So pretty low miles since, about 20,000 kilometers. Uh, and I'll also note that uh, beautiful Fuchs wheels on this staggered setup I think they're 185 and 225, but we'll, we'll get that onto the, uh, the detailed listing for sure. But the reason they're on, they're on my mind is because the tires went on in 2015. So under 20,000 20, kilometers on these tires, they're a set of Michelin Defenders. We've got close-ups on the, uh, the detailed listing. 185, 16, 50, R15 up here in the front. And uh, as I say... Uh, the tires uh, on the car nine years, low mileage on them, under 20,000 kilometers. We did uh, open the fuel door and take a couple of photos in there on the detailed listing, nice and clean, no hints of any corrosion there. And there's an antenna, it's a manual antenna. You can see pictures of it both up and down in the, uh, in the detailed listing. Again, lot 222. And you can see the car has suffered uh, from some uh, uh, flooding of uh, pine needles. The, the owner here has a beautiful property out in the country. And while we were shooting the, the intro to the video and the sound of the engine idling, there was a, a big gust of wind and it uh, brought down a lot of pine needles. So we're gonna see pine needles both on and in the car during the video from here on in. So here's a good look at the rear Fuchs, the black center with the chrome lips. And back here, we're looking at 215 60 R15. So 185s up front and 215s in the rear. Uh, traditional Targa bar. Of course, the car is a 74. Uh, so this is what the Targa, how the Targa bar is presented at that time. Uh, kind of a stainless steel look. Interestingly, the current 911 uh, generation is 992. And they've gone back to that stainless steel look, although the Targas are much more high tech. Uh, of course, they're power operated today. This one is, uh, 
is removable. It's a, it's a, it's a one piece panel. In fact, here it is over here. There are some good photos of it on the detailed listing, but even on this video, you can see it's in very nice condition. It was purchased by the current owner. So as I say, he's only done about 20,000 kilometers in the car. So that sort of explains why it's in such nice condition. Uh, there are a couple of flaws in the car. I'll show you the what I consider the biggest one. There's a little bit of bubbling here in the door jam. And there it is there. But as I feel, as I run my finger over it, it's not soft like the feel of corn flakes, as I call it, when it's rust. But but it is uh, it is upset there. And there's a toonie to give you a sense of uh, perspective. As long as I'm showing you those, I'll show you the other two blisters. I guess there are three blisters here in the rear and the engine cover. Same thing. I think it's the paint suffering more than anything because I don't. It does not feel like rust underneath. But for perspective, certainly smaller than the Tuni for all three marks. There are a couple of marks here. I have a feeling that might just be tree sap. It didn't get cleaned off right away, and it's left a mark. Single exhaust here for the 2.7 liter engine. Uh, 2.7 liter flat six, like any uh, 911, it's a flat six. Originally, it was rated at 162 horsepower. Immediately before this uh, car review video, we did some driving videos. And uh, please take a look at those. If you do, you'll see that the car is not lazy. Uh, great pickup, great uh, get up and go and nice, well-behaved at cruising speed as well. So no whale tail spoiler on this car. It's got the cleaner look without the spoiler and the big red lens with the Porsche script going across with a 911 badge up above, I suppose below the venting for the engine. Uh, 1974, the first year for the what we'll call short hood we'll show you that when we get back up to the front but it's on my mind here because these bumpers here with the sort of the absorption area uh, are a tell for the 74 plus um, uh, g body 911s uh, that you wouldn't have seen those in 73 and prior good look at the passenger's rear wheel these Fuchs look to be in, in nice shape. Um, of course, with the bigger sidewalls of the older, bigger bigger tire sidewalls of the older Porsches and the smaller diameter rims, they're less, uh, less likely, less uh, vulnerable to curb rash because most curbs are not as tall as the sidewall is high. So here are the heater lines for the rear defrost, controlled from the cabin, of course. Uh, worth pointing out, I figured, with the Targa body style of this car. Targa with the five-speed manual transmission. Chrome door handles. Both both door handles, the chrome is, is really nice. No pitting on it. And we've got color-coded flag side mirrors on each side. Another nice appointment are these vent windows. So as you might expect, the car is not equipped with air conditioning. Most 70s 911s who, that are blow cool rather than cold, but this one doesn't even have the air conditioning. So those vent windows really form a nice, uh, a nice setup to 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 blow some cool air to the occupants when they're opened in spirited driving. And there's a good look at the uh, front right Fuchs wheel again with the Michelin Defender uh, tires. And here's that absor shock absorber look I was mentioning for the front bumper. And as I say, they call these the short hoods because prior to 74, this hood extended all the way to the front of the bumper. But of course, with bumper standards that changed for 73, 74, the bumper had to be a little thicker. And as such, the hood got shortened. 
One other upset I notice in the paint is in these sugar scoop headlights. The base is, I think it's just the paint's uh, wearing a little bit. Again, I don't, I don't really see signs of rust or rust corrosion bubbling underneath. Even when I run my hand over it, it feels like more the, uh, the paint's becoming unadhered, but just on the bases of those sugar scoop headlights. Good look at the front of the car. Not a lot of stone chipping. There are a couple of chips where we photographed uh, on the detailed listing. Again, a lot, 222. Um, here's one here. And a, I think there's a couple over here. Yeah, right on the very front face. And again, we photographed those with a tuning. So give you a good sense of perspective for them. Clean glass all the way around. We've got the... Uh, door windows down, but uh, it's marked with secure it, as are those vent windows. Uh, excellent glass. So that gives us a good look at the exterior of the car. Let's climb in and have a look inside. Before I do, let's get a good look at these seats. They've been reupholstered in the uh, care of the current owner. So fresh leather on those uh, seats, on the front seats. The rears were not in need of re refinishing or uh, reupholstery. So I, I believe that's the original leather on the rear, also in very good condition. But the, uh, the fact that this is new leather on these, covering these front seats is quite apparent. Really looks smart. So climbing in. I always like these old Porsches when I can find these storage compartments under the armrest. Brilliant use of space in these. So manual windows, manual locks on the 911T. Climbing in. The car shows uh, just over 10,000 miles. We believe that to be under 111,000 miles. I'll speak with the owner, but I think that's going to be a TMU. This is a TMU car. Sorry for the, uh, the sound of the horn, but you know it works now. 8,000 RPM uh, tachometer, centrally mounted. So you can see the uh, speedometers to the right, and then there's a dual gauge for oil pressure and oil temp to the left. So tachometer in the center, 8,000 uh, RPM red line with a Looks like about a 6,300, or sorry, 8,000 RPM max, 6,300 RPM red line. Fuel gauge over here, and uh, uh, some kind of an oil gauge there. We'll look into that, and we'll get that defined on the, uh, the detailed listing. Down here, as you see, the, the keyhole is over here on the left, uh, traditional 911 item. And then on the far right, there's a clock. There's an analog clock. You can see the second hand is not moving. So it's not operable right now. Owner tells us there's a short in there and he hasn't uh, taken the time to diagnose it. So he's just uh, disconnected it. There's our HVAC controls, the, the order of the day for Porsche in the early 70s. And there's a modern Kenwood uh, deck here. So take a look at our detailed listing for lot 222 for the details of that. Uh, there's a glove box. I'm not gonna open it now. There's some personal effects inside of there, but it does include an original owner's manual for a 1974 Porsche 911. And the rear defrost, a fastened seatbelt sign. This would be a speaker up here. Four spoke steering wheel. Even the mats are quite presentable. I don't know if we have enough light for you to see under the mat, but we do have some photos of the floors under the mats, quite clean. And on the detailed listing, there are not only photos of the underside, uh, you might've noticed while I was walking around the car, that we're in a shop with a lift. The, the current owner is a mechanic, so that's how this car is in such great shape mechanically. But yeah, his shop here is equipped with a lift. So we popped it up and uh, shot even a video underneath. So handbrake, and we've got some more heater controls down there as well. That's how the heat's controlled on the air-cooled cars, both 911 and 914. There's a speaker on the door. There's one on the driver's door as well. There are speaker wires in the rear. Uh, however, the, uh, the owner doesn't have speakers in there right now. So if someone wanted bigger sound, 
it's already wired for it. You just gotta pop in a pair of speakers. I've just released the front trunk. And we can take a look at that. Pretty clean as well, as you'll see. Before we do, quick look at the rear seats. In nice condition. And you can see the, the speaker wire there. And same thing for under these carpets. We get a good look at the floor, nice and clean. So going forward to that front trunk. No doubt about what make of car we're working with here. It's a Porsche. This is a little tricky to get open. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go, it's released. And I showed you the little paint upset on the uh, front driver's, or the driver's door jam. This piece is a replacement piece. So it is ready to go if the new owner decides that's something he, he or she wants to tend to. Uh, there are fuses, there's a fuse panel here on the driver's side. There's this Kenwood amplifier I think I mentioned. Light to, to light things up in the, uh, in the front trunk, still operational. And then underneath this carpet, there's a space saver here, uh, tire, spare tire that's deflated. That needs to be inflated before it gets used. So always travel with a compressor and the battery for the cars up here as well. There's some of these stray pine needles we just attracted from, uh, from being in that little wind blust, bluster of wind when we were shooting the intro to the video. We did take a look at the engine while it was running, but why don't we head back there for another quick look. So engine in the rear, of course, and the release is right here in the door jam. So a nice clean air-cooled machine here. All the labels seem to be still in place as well. Again, a 2.7 liter, flat six, you can see some Porsche script here on the valve covers on each side. So 2.7 liter flat six rated at 162 horsepower when new. But do take, as I say, take a look at the driving videos and see this engine under load and you can see how well it performed both accelerating and just cruising along on a two lane highway. Five speed manual transmission. It's the 915 manual transmission. Porsche buffs will be familiar with. And that gets the power to the rear wheels. So I'll close up that engine cover, take another quick walk around the car, and then we'll come back with some finishing thoughts. So the Fuchs at all four corners, there's a good look at the chrome uh, door handle on the driver's side. And the Targa bar with the stainless steel look finish. Sugar scoop headlights, a neat piece of the day. Any 911 follower is going to be familiar with those. And uh, it didn't speak to the uh, speak to the color. It's very close to Porsche's slate blue. This is not original paint. The car's been painted, so I'm going to call it slate blue. And uh, we are not in ideal lighting conditions, being that we've moved inside but the interior is black. And the uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is the, uh, the flared rear fenders. So those are flared out a little bit. Bumperettes on the rear, but not on the front. So there's a good look at our Porsche 911 Targa with five speed manual transmission, 1974 model year the 915 transmission uh, it's going to be lot 222 on collectorcarcanada.ca uh, i'll call it slate blue over a black leather interior uh, lots of mechanical work in the past 20,000 kilometers and the current owner's uh, custodianship over the past 14 years as you can as we tried to show you in the video you might be able to see them from the picture you have now the front seats have also been repolstered in fresh black leather uh, again, a 2.7 liter uh, flat six power plant, good for a factory rating of 162 horsepower. Again, I think that might sell it short, 
please do take a look at the driving videos in our detailed listing for lot 222. Again, a five-speed manual transmission, sending the power to the rear wheels. So that's a good look at the 1974 Porsche 911 Targa with five-speed manual. Um, please take a look at a detailed listing for lot 222. On to the next car, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.